you could just join us in the sanctuary, we have a song that we'd like to start with that's called Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord. We'd love to welcome you to Cypress Creek Christian Church this morning. Would you please stand with us as we begin our worship, singing to our Savior. the pastoral staff here at Cypress Creek, would you bow with me in prayer? Gracious God, word of life, who chose to enter this world in the form of a child, we are mindful of the many young people whose life circumstances are broken, unhealthy, and violent. The most vulnerable are often pushed down the priority list to those who have the power to bring change. Call us, merciful God, to be servants to all, but this day we seek to serve you among the children. This morning we give thanks for all the marvelous examples of compassion and care that do exist, especially those who partic participate in the education of our children. May your blessings of encouragement and strength reside in all those who have felt your call to serve as teachers or in other positions in our schools. We also ask your blessing on this worship service this morning, that it might open our eyes to your message. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. 
Well, good morning again. If you're a first time visitor, we are so glad and honored that you are here. There's gonna be a gift for you at the Welcome Center in the Narthex when you go out at the end of a service, so be sure and stop by there. Um, if you're a regular member, we're glad you're here again and again, and we wanna welcome everybody. Also, inside your your worship guide, there's a blue card that's real important for us. If you would fill that out, we'd have a, a record of your attendance, some contact information if you're a visitor, and especially on the back side, please share your joys and concerns so that we can pray with you for those. That's real important. We love to pray for you. And now it's time to greet one another. So give a hug, shake a hand, introduce yourself. first chapter of Proverbs, we hear the author invite the reader to teach the inexperienced the ropes and give the young people in that culture and in our culture a grasp on reality. 
As we think about it, is there any greater gift that we can give to our children than a strong foundation on which they can build, explore, and dream? Let's do what we can to help build that foundation from which our young people will lead the world towards health, towards love, and towards peace. Will you join us in singing Hosanna? Good morning. I want to 